Well hello and welcome to this MCE VoxScript tutorial. The aim of the tutorial is to demonstrate the use of VoxScript and also take a look at its compatriot VoxKey. These come complete with MCE. The aircraft I'll be using today is the Uiva DC-2. This does not have MCE specific support and as such is a perfect aircraft to demonstrate the use of VoxScript because the DC-2 uses for the most part Flight Simulator native commands we can use MCE and VoxScript to put together a complete set of flows. Now the main thing I want to point out at the beginning is VoxScript is not a programming language. You could call it the flow maker. If you can type sentences in sequence you can construct flows or procedures for your aircraft. As I put the flows together I always have the simulation running in order to test each line on the fly. Excuse the pun. Open the MCE GUI at VoxScript. Use the GUI buttons to name a script and select Edit. Here I'm editing a shutdown flow. I'm using two monitors for convenience, but these are okay, not essential. Switched off already, skipper. And testing each line that I enter to ensure that it works in sim. That way you're building up your flow or procedure. Adding commands using the correct phraseology. The page I have open is from the generic MCE commands list. This has all the commands for the native FSX aircraft. Of course if I was compiling a script for a supported aircraft I'd simply select that from the menu. So I'll go start menu MCE and uh, look at the generic commands. Select any one you want. Here I've got engine commands. Again I just move that over to the second monitor. Look up the command that I require. In this case it's the auxiliary fuel pump. Type in the command exactly as it's written into the command line of the VoxScript GUI and because we have the simulation running we can subsequently test that line that we've just added. Make sure it works. Yeah, auxiliary fuel pump off already, skipper. After we've confirmed that it works, just hit save and it's entered into the flow. So you're building the flow or procedure line by line. Yep, idle power. And test each line separately. Once it works, hit save. No programming skills necessary. Just simply add the command lines that will build a successful procedure. Going back to the start menu, MCE, shared commands, and select a different list. If you're working on a supported aircraft, you would open that aircraft specific commands. And obviously with MCE supported aircraft, those commands have been specifically programmed for you by the guys at MCE. Search the list for your required command. And again to reiterate, there's no programming skills required, but you do have to have a working knowledge of the aircraft. Correct flows and procedures. Enter that command. And hit test. Yep, landing. Lights off as per command already. And test it and enter it if you wish to do so. That's actually a duplicated command so it's not necessary so we just remove the item. So to make a procedure or a flow it's simply adding commands and editing. If you want to execute a command that isn't listed in the MCE generic commands well you can make one using a handy little utility that comes with MCE Vox Key. This allows you to create a verbal command in Vox script that will execute a flight simulator keystroke. This little utility is very self-explanatory. So just enter the name of the command, the keystroke used in FSX, the number of times you wish it to be actioned, and optionally adding a verbal command when it's completed, but this is not necessary. And the command that we type into VoxKey we will use in VoxScript. VoxScript will then execute the VoxKey command. This is a propeller decrease command. So we go props fully fine. 
Add the line you typed in Vox key into Vox script. Test that line and save if all's OK. I never have to use Vox key on supported aircraft. Unsupported and native FSX aircraft are where Vox key comes in handy. Once I've got my procedure typed in, what I usually do is go through each line individually and test each line separately before we test the complete procedure in its entirety. And again as we click test we can look into the flight deck and check the action. Closing fuel lever engine one. Magneto one off. Affirmative propeller lever engine one set to feather. Generator one discarded. Fuel pump one off. And that's how I build procedure flows for each individual aircraft. Of course with supported aircraft you know every switch, dial and control surface will work per command. And with FSX native code it's sometimes necessary to use the Vox key which I've just demonstrated. So it's simply a case of typing in the command line and using test. Test is successful, save. You can then test the complete flow and then finally I test the complete flow with uh, the verbal command. Engine 1 start procedure please. Engine 1 flow. Battery on. Propeller fully fine. Opening fuel lever engine 1. Auxiliary fuel pump on a spare command. Engine one starter engaged. Generator one activated. Auxiliary fuel pump selected off. Battery on. Engine one start completed. I usually open up edit so I can follow each line as they're actioned. Engine 2 start procedure please. Number 2. Propeller full fine. Opening fuel lever engine 2. Auxiliary fuel pump on a spare command. Engine 2 starter engaged. Generator 2 activated. Auxiliary fuel pump turned off. Battery on. Engine 2 start completed. So it's really quite straightforward. So just to recap. So just to recap. Start menu. MCE. Shared commands. Select the list that you require. Select the command that you require. From the MCE Voxcript GUI, select new, type in a name for the flow, select edit and type in the command from the list. Continue to add relevant commands to your flow, testing each one as it's added. Test the final full procedure, making corrections as needed. When you've completed the flow or procedure, test that in its entirety. Emergency engine shutdown number one. Sorry, could you repeat? Emergency engine shutdown number one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Captain Down, engine one. Closing fuel lever, engine one. Magneto one off. Propeller lever, engine one set to feather. So remember, you don't have to use Generator Voxcript to run MCE. Off. And this isn't a Fuel definitive tutorial, I just yes. thought you'd be interested to see how I did it. So summing up, 
So multi-crew experience Fox script is very intuitive to use, allowing accurate flows and procedures to be built up. It's as easy as typing in the line and then testing it. This gives you access to every native flight simulator aircraft and with fully supported aircraft allows you to alter or amend flows to suit your needs. So have fun and enjoy your hobby and bye for now.